Hi, my name is Diamond. I live in the U.S. and I want to introduce you to Pastoral Care and Leadership Institute, whose vision is to equip Christians with sound biblical truth for the comfort of their homes. As you join Pastoral Care course, you will learn how to study the Bible and draw contextual interpretations to God's Word, and your ability to communicate the Gospel will be enhanced. I am inviting you to join the next online course starting September 2022. To register, please follow the link below or send us an email at pastoralcareleadership at gmail.com or send a message on WhatsApp. Thank you. Mr. Charity, please. Praise God. Welcome everyone and blessed evening to all. My name is Sister Charity. I'm a bachelor student of pastoral care and leadership. Today, I'll be presenting to you a book titled Foreign to Familiar, a guide to understand heart and cold climate culture. You will permit me to be on outside camera because I have a problem throughout this week I was in class, but I wasn't opportune to open my camera because the moment I'm talking with my camera open, it will be a lot of distraction. The net will be very low. So I hope you will permit me to close my camera. Thank you so much. So the book titled uh, Foreign to Familian is the author is from America. The name is Sarah Lena. Brief of Sarah Lena about the author. The author was born in US. At age of nine, she moved with her family in Middle East since 1980. Then she gathered this knowledge about the leadership of how can culture, how can people live in peace with the neighborhood, no matter the different culture and background. And this is where she observed that living in a, 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 a place or living in a village or living wherever you are living, as long as you are living in peace with the people, that is what matters most. And this lady called Sarah, this book was written in the year 2000, but since this book is written, this is almost the sixth print of the book. The first print was 2000, the second print 2001, the third print 2003, fourth print 2004, fifth print 2005, and the sixth print, which is the last print, 2007. About the book. The meaning of this foreign in title of this author means people and culture over here. You may hear the title just say foreign in foreign, this foreign. Foreign is not just a foreign, it's what she have observed that this foreign have to be have to be cleared and have to give explanation of people of everyone, people of diverse of people, people of different culture, people of different background, because the word is a word of mixture. And this book explains how culture around the world can fit into basics category and how these categories differ and understanding can be related to one another from different climates. Introduction, chapter from chapter one. The hot and climate culture, the people of different culture, act, react, and do things differently. In the phenomenon of this observation was made since early 1700 by American President Thomas Jefferson about living in a diverse part of the same country. Jefferson observed that people living in a divided country need to have something to be reasoning, need to have something to do in order for them to get along with each other without offending people of different colors and different background. The author have described this book. In this book, the author described that the, the people from cold climates are being people with a tax oriented. Why people from hot climates are being described as a relationship based. The author also described that the people with a relationship base don't want to offend people. For instance, for like Filipino. Filipino, when you want to ask them question, you come with, do you like this? Indirectly, proportionally will tell you, yes, I like it. Most of the time, people feel offend or offended by how they are reacting with things because they are not ready 
to offend you. They will do everything possible. Even when they are rejecting you, they will not let you to know that they are rejecting you because this is the custom of their culture. They are brought up in a such a way that they have to. You don't allow your opinion or your whereabouts to disturb other people, even when you like them or when you don't like them. So Europeans have been considered as a people of cold climate culture. The, the character of cold climate culture has been known by the value of rule, value of myself, by my, my things belong to me, for instance, Dutch and German. So they are in the middle is known as a people of uh, climate code. Code climate culture have brought a lot of distance that people don't rely or people try to depend on themselves instead of depend on their neighbor due to the cold. The author of this book described that the, these two climate culture has a lot of things to do with our whereabouts, our life, the way we behave, the way we talk, and the way we act. He said that knowing this cultural background will help heal things, will help make a relationship work out and prevent conflict. He said it, the author continued to narrate that uh, knowing this will solve a lot of problems in cross-cultural background. And the purpose of this book is not just only that people will understand their own culture, but also to understand others better than themselves. So in chapter two, verse one of this book, the author talk about the relationship versus tax orientation. Remember the, uh, the relationship vax is people that belong to hot climate. Who are the people that belong to hot climate? People that belong to hot climate are being people like Asia, people like Africans, some of them like uh, uh, South Americans. So these are the people that have this like musical. These are the people that have this relationship uh, as a base, whatever they do, they do it as we, not me, not I. So they belong to a place that I belong, you belong. But in terms of cold people, which are like Russia, which like Europe, like German, for instance, they are the people that belong to. They, when they are bringing a child up, they will tell a child, your things, you have to take care of yourself. You have to take care of your things. Your things belong to you. But people of cold climate, you do bring their children up early age by teaching them that, see, what you have is we that have it. So they don't segregate or they, they include everyone as included of the family. Even visitor can be included. What are their goals? Their goals is to promote good feeling that bring atmosphere and friendly environment. The cold climate people do not jeopardize their friendship no matter what. These people like Filipino, a lot of them, most, they do everything possibly to keep good environment, to be, keep good atmosphere. Even when they, for instance, you see someone is driving, you say, please, can I jump in? Can you drop me somewhere? Instead of the person to tell you, no, I, the car is full. The person will just tell you, oh, I don't know whether the chance can be there. But by telling you that is already the little chance for you, instead of directly telling you, no chance in this mode, we are full. Why? Because they don't want to make you feel bad. Even when they reject you, they will always tell you in indirect ways that this is that, but not for Europeans. So not for Westerners. Westerners believe that telling people what is not is even abuse or you are confusing the people or the person. In chapter three of this book, the chapter three bring out what we have to remember about the hot climate people and the cold climate people. I'm going to give the instance. The author described that these hot climate people are people of a friendly people, people of, of relational, people of relationship base. They, 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 create, they create good atmosphere, they create environment that make people to come to and even though the individual may put on their wise because or for instance you may train your child to 
adapt to the, the situation whereby this is our culture, but still individual can put on their wise, no, this is not. And this is where on the wise coming, but this is their culture that you do everything to police one another, even as a stranger. No one, as long as you are close to them, nobody is a stranger. Everybody has to be welcome. But this rules doesn't applicable to people of code people. Code people are tax oriented. They believe in tax. They provide accurate information. For instance, you ask someone, can you drive me to somewhere? He will say, no, my car is full. No chance for you. I'm not going where you are going. They want to give you the answer and the information direct as you ask to them. But this is not applicable to from code climate. So According to chapter three of this book, it's, it's now bringing us to the a position of the people from cold climate always do anything possible to answer you direct. For instance, you, you wear dirty clothes and you come to me, I'm a hot climate, you ask me, what is, am I looking okay? The person will tell you, no, you are not looking okay. According to chapter three of this book, verse eight, two and three, he said that he described that even though when you are dirty, they will tell you you are clean. Why? The, their, their aim is just not to bring you down, not to make you feel bad because you are looking bad. But this one does not uh, work in a place like cold climate. Cold climates believe that what it is should be what it is. What should be named have to be named. For instance, you ask a cold climate person, is this bad? He tell you, obviously, it is bad. When you feel like, oh, this is this is hard for me to swallow, the person will tell you, yes, I think that is not my problem because you asked me the question. Cold climate people believe in giving the giving you the answer when you approach them, and this is why they believe in themselves by not depending on others or thinking about what people think. So coming to the chapter four of this book, this book is relating to us about the orientation of cold climate people and the hot climate people. They say that self, cold climate people believe in self person, my own, my identity is my identity. Your identity is not a, your, is your identity. So coming to the hot climate people, hot climate people believe where I belong is where my family belong. Where my family belong is where I belong. For instance, cold climate, hot climate people will tell you, my identity is tied to the group family, to, to the tribe where I belong, to the tribe where I come from. So they provide such protection of the generation of the family. I'm not alone, but for orientation of cold climate people will let you to know that if you are, if you are not with me, don't be with me. If you are with me, let me know that you are with me. So they belong in working alone, but that is not functioning in cold in a hot climate people. Cold climate people is has already bring something of nature of the people be, be, they believe that what I can do is what I can do and what you can do is what you can do. I think my time is running. So going to the my opinion of this book, I will say that this book is a book that we, if we can read this book, this book will usher you inside that people, what we do, how we do, even the way we eat, the way we act is based on our culture, is based on what we are seeing or based in what where we are coming from. And the author, according to the author, or the author uh, let us know in this book that uh, where people come from, if you are coming from code, your attitude, your difference, your behavior will also influence your art. But if you are coming from code people, code people also, code have already, uh, 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 made these people to believe that if I'm here, I'm here. If I'm inside, I'm here. In fact, I am alone because of that atmosphere where they come from. And going down to it, there is a culture which this book have related that we must not uh, overlook. That culture is culture that everything matters most. This is a culture they say that the society have, the goal of the society is to know that job done is not just job done, but just done is for you to know that climate people has their own way, have their own way. Why 
uh, code people have their own way. And if you can relate with this too, if you have this information by reading this book, it will enable you to know that if you are coming from Europe, there is a way a Europe man behave. If you are coming from America, South America or North America, there is a way you behave. I think I have a few minutes to run now. So in conclusion of this book, this book is a book that, that uh, differentiates how we behave and how climate have contributed to our behavior. And by reading this book also have made me to understand that our life is not just our life, but if you are where you coming from, where you are coming from affect your way, affect your life, affect your attitude. For instance, a Europe man believed that I am here, I am here. And if someone is with me, is with me. And whatever you ask a Euro person, Western, and they believe that what it is should be what it is. And for Filipino, if you ask the person, what is this? The person would tell you, no, due to their culture and custom. So whatever we do in this life is always, we can trace it from where we are coming from and the culture we have uh, exhibited from that place. I think my time has run out. So in conclusion, everything depends on where you are coming from. Thank you for hearing me. May God bless us. Sir. And again, this book is non-friction. Why did I say this book is non-friction? It's because it has geographical area. And also this book is like a proof to our life. And also the, there is evidence that the European people and the American people, Australia, African, Asia, that are included of this book is, is, is like there is a base in this book. It's not just a book that somebody assumed, but it's a book that uh, uh, what happened and what will still continue to happen. That is why I believe on my own opinion that is known friction. Thank you for hearing me. Thank you very much. Um, Please, uh, if we have any questions, we can ask. She has uh, finished her presentation. And if you have something you want to ask her, please feel free to ask her. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma. Thank you, Sister Charity, for the wonderful presentation. My question is based on the analysis you gave. I want to know, is the cold and hot climate, is it what influences the behavior of the people or it is their culture? Thank you. Thank you so much for your question. The code is a is attribute. For instance, like my body now, you, you see my hand. When I raise up my hand, you did not see my face, but still my head is part of my body. When my body is removed from my hand, my one finger is removed from my body. It's all in one system. The same thing, code and culture. Code have contributed and the culture, code is leon to that culture. For instance, a cold person can stay in his house when snow fall. He can stay in his house for months. And the time to, keep, to, to be free is just like this August. Now we are claiming we're already in summer. Everybody are happy. So the opportunity a cold person from like Western and Europe can come out is just now. So end of the day, it became a culture that there is a seasoner from that Leon of a, that a cold have drawn that a, have contributed to that, making it up to that culture. What makes culture is one thing. It's just like what I give as an example, I have said, like my body, my hand, my head, my eye, they're all in the system of the same one body and all of them function different. The same thing could have contributed to the culture of different countries. Thank you. Thank you. Just okay, are you okay? Thank you, yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, Sister Charity, Pastor Jude want to ask uh, that uh, what, what you have learned from this book, what have you learned from this book? 
Thank you so much. Last summer, to the extent that during uh, 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 affected my behavior yesterday, I uh, there's a friend, one of my friends here is a Filipino. Anytime I ask him question, he will always tell me something. Nothing is not a problem. So I feel like this flexibility, I don't really understand this person. So I always put him like, anything I want to ask him is something that I can ask my son, maybe like even five years. So, but reading this book yesterday in the night have taught me a lot of things that I said, oh, this is their character, this is their behavior. So now if I see him tomorrow or any time, I will change my behavior and my attitude towards him, knowing that this is their character and this culture have influenced his behavior. Thank, Thank you. you. And um, I also, Pastor Jude, uh, second question is, uh, so both cold and hot climates, which one do you prefer? Obviously, what has the disadvantage must also have the disadvantage. Cold weather with his with his advantage is that uh, you can't tell me a uh, cold person. You just what belongs to me is what belongs to me. If uh, Ubuntu in our South Africa books, I read it when I was in first year university. He said that we. He's talking about everything is we, everything is we, we, we. So it's we that make us. But according to Western and through this the book of Sarah, I was, uh, I, it made me to understand very clearly that uh, the, the way they behave, sometimes you see someone, you greet someone, is tell you, why are you greeting me? Do you know me before? Now I see that this is their culture. For instance, so this is the disadvantage of them. So for instance, you need something to ask your neighbor, like my neighbor, you tell you, you don't have chance. It's a disadvantage to them. But both a uh, uh, culture of a court, why would you are rejecting someone, but you are still telling the person you are welcome. Why even you are rejecting the person? So I believe that the disadvantage, everything is always measured with a disadvantage. If you ask me to choose, I will say that all of them, depend on the culture, depend on where the, the person, ah, that's just matter. But I, I chose all of them because they are with multiple disadvantages and advantages. Thank you. Thank you. Is somebody having any other question? So please, yeah, you talk about uh, uh, the author. You just uh, mentioned her name. What, uh, what, you said she come from US. And yes. uh, is that all that uh, is in the book about her? Yeah, her story, she's a lady, she's a woman. So she's a young lady, middle age by now. So that has, she doesn't have much uh, history, but the history she has, the one I said is that when, uh, when she was nine years old, she moved with her family to Middle East until 1980, when she came back to study in America in university. So she was born in the US and they went to Middle East to stay with her parents and later come back to start university. There she grabbed all this, um, a lot of, uh, uh, she lived in many places. So later she come up with this observation of what culture. She also lived in Netherlands. So you don't have a specific story. Her story is a little bit, little because this is where she grabbed her story by different culture meeting different people in school she was a law student thank you mm, okay if nobody have something to say please do you have uh, something to say somebody have something else to say or any question to ask her okay uh, thank you very much um, please, you can send your grace to Pastor Jude now, and God bless you for your wonderful presentation. But uh, uh, where, where I'm not clear is you have lived in Africa and you have lived in Germany, so you know you are kind of you know both cultures. So if they said you should choose one, and you just told me advantage and disadvantage, what are some of the advantages that you have in uh, Africa? Maybe you have to tell us you'll be friendly, you'll be what and the Germans. Give me a, a real ex experience. Like talk from, I want you to talk from experience on that second question because I want to know because you are also like the Sarah. She knows uh, the cold climate and she knows. So just give me and let me, let me convince me. I want to convince us. 
<laughs> yes, that is all I want before we go to the next person. Thank you so much, Mom. Yeah, to say nowhere like a country, nowhere like my country, nowhere like my home, precisely if I would say. But in generally, I, I do say that just like every one of us, if I if you ask me who do will I choose you and mommy faith, I will tell you I choose both. Everybody. <laughs> So in this life, I'm an African coming from Africa. Yes, African is good. We are relating, but the same thing, you know, if I tell you some disadvantage in relating where we are, how we are relating, you know, now in Africa, sometimes you can't open your door because your neighbor, you build a house whereby is one gate around three or four people. But that is why there are disadvantages that people can always put poison in the food of each other. And end of the day, they can, will bring death to the people, bring premature death, call them short before their time. So, but to stay, if you ask me to choose, obviously, I choose my, my homeland, Africa, and my behavior. Thank you. God bless Thank you. you. Hey, Sister Faithful, Sister Faithful, please. Thank you, Ma. Good evening, Ma. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everyone. The my names are Faith Onwubolu, a student of Pastoral Care and Leadership Institute, a bachelor student. My book title is Spirit Controlled Temperament, and the author is Tim Francis Lahaye. The book was published by Sindale House in 1993, September 1993. And the date I'm presenting this book review is 5th of August. The book, um, Spirit Control Temperament was, sorry, was, was written by Tim Francis Lahaye, who was an American Baptist evangelical Christian, a minister who wrote more than 85 books, both fiction and non-fiction. Lahaye was anti-homosexual, a harsh critic of Roman Catholicism and a strong believer of the Illuminator Global Conspiracy Theory. The book Spirit Controlled Temperament was published by Tenderley House in the year 1993 of September 21. This book is a non-fiction fiction book, Christian literature. The Spirit Controlled Temperament is about our training or temperament. Why people around us act the way they do? Because the writer clearly stated in the chapter one that at the moment of our conception, we all inherited a basic genetic temperament that comprises of our personality and character and it contains both our strengths and our weakness. Either a sanguine, choleric, melancholy, or phlegmatic, which are the four temperament types. Tim Lahai also stressed the point in chapter two that temperament can't be changed but can only be strengthened by God. And he referred us to the scripture in 2 Corinthians 5.17, where Apostle Paul said, I quote, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are past and behold, all things are new. And we get impacted by this new nature when we receive Jesus into our lives. 
my own view on this book is that it has helped me to understand temperament better. And I have also learned to lean on the Holy Spirit to overcome my weakness. And I also learned a new word, congenia in chapter nine, when the writer talked about anger as one of the most destructive emotions known to mankind. The meaning of congenia is a feeling of friendliness or a feeling of comfort or satisfaction. This book is very essential for all, both Christian and non-Christian. So this book also will be, will be helpful. Anyone that will come across this book, it will really be helpful for that person to understand the different types of, of temperaments that we have. So it has also helped me too, and I believe anyone that will read it, it will help that person too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, I have a question. Please go ahead. Okay, Ma. Um, you told us about temperament. And you listed the four um, temperaments. I think you should actually tell us at least the meaning or how to know so that all of us can, at least some of us can know if we are sanguine or if we are choleric or if we are phlegmatic, that kind of thing. So I think you should tell more like that. What is the sanguine? What does it mean to be choleric? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ma, for your, quest, for your question. The sanguine personality is a person that is enthusiastic. Enthusiastic, somebody that is eager, a social person, somebody that is active and maybe overly a talkative. That is a sanguine personality. Then the melancholy is a very calm person a very calm and quiet person. These individuals also, they often choose to hide their feelings. They hide their feelings. Then let's talk about the, the phlegmatic people. The phlegmatic people, they, their personality is they are, they are very agreeable, very cooperative. Even in conflict, they seek to agree to satisfy the needs of everyone involved. Then the choleric personality, this personality, they are hot. They are hot, they are ambitious, brave, proud, but they can also be vindictive, deceitful, and also violent, and they are irritable and bad tempered. Thank you. Thank you. Tastella, are you okay? Minister Stella. Yes, Ma. Um, I should try it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, Pastor Jude, or oh, I'll ask you the same question. So what have you learned from the, this book? Pastor Jude question. What I have learned from this book is that when we were born, we all inherited a, a, a particular temperament. And this book also helps me that 
as we all have different faces, we have different temperaments, different character. And if I don't understand your character, I will not be able to, 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 to flow with you. And I also learned that it is by the help of the Holy Spirit that we can really control our temper. Like me, for example, before I came to this country, I, am, I used to go angry a lot. Oh my God, if I'm angry today, eh, I can just decide on something. If you make me angry, I can just decide to do you something. So revenge, yes, let me use it like that. I want to revenge and I must revenge. So then when I came to know Christ, it now helped me to put that, that anger in check. There are some times when I started noticing it that the Holy Spirit has started helping me is when I was in a bus one day and the conductor, for him to give me change, he was trying to uh, waste my time and I wanted to react. I just heard in my spirit, come, I just smiled. Then when I was in school in Lasso, my girlfriend that we are very, we are friends, we are very close. So there's this perfume I go to buy in a, a, a Lagos market. So I sell it for, I think, 8,800. I buy three, 400, and I'll sell it 800. So everybody that saw it, they liked it because the smell was very good at that time. So I didn't know that she now went to buy it and she was selling it in her shop. So as I was going to her shop that day, I just heard it in my spirit. Don't be surprised to see the perfume that you are selling in the school. Your friend is selling it. Ah! Immediately I saw it. I, as I just got there, and I, I don't know how, I, do, I didn't even have it in mind, but I just heard it in my spirit. So when I just got to the shop, the perfume was the first thing I saw there. And immediately she just said, Faith, no vex, so no worry. They sell your own for school. Yeah, they sell my own for you. And that was it. I was calm. I, 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 I wasn't angry. So it is by the help of the Holy Spirit that we can really put our anger issues in check because he's, he talks to us. Sometimes we, 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 we fail to pay attention to what he's saying. And when we fail to pay attention, that is when we react the way the devil wants us to react. So this book has really helped me that if we, we must be able to, 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 to put our character in check. It is by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, is somebody having some question again? Are we okay? So the author, he said he was a, a gay. I want to ask you that, uh, did he uh, change? When you read the book, did, you, did he change later or he's still a gay? A gay? I, what, or what did you say? Oh, I didn't hear it well. No, the man was mm. anti-homosexual. He was ah, against homosexual. homosexuality, yes. Mm -hmm. No. Hello? Yes, ma'am, here, ma'am. Uh, so have you finished talking yes, about the author? Okay. Yes, yeah, the author's name is um, Tim, Tim Francis yeah. Lahaye. Thank you. Sister, okay, go ahead. No question for me, ma. Okay, and one question that I did ask is, uh, why do you think people act the way they do? Okay, why do I think people act the way they do? Okay, just like I read from this book that 
as we all, when we were born, we inherited a particular uh, a genetic trait from our, our parents or where we came from or our, our, our lineage. That is one. That is where it came from. And why do they act the way they act? Why do they act the way they act, whether positive or a um, negative way? I believe that we all are being controlled or influenced by whoever we submit ourselves to. Just like I said before, I, I, I yielded to the, the, the Holy Spirit that spoke to me. And normally, if I, I, I wasn't born again at that time, maybe I would have acted differently. Maybe that would have even made me and that girl not to even talk anymore. But because I have, I have, I, I, I am now a new creation, all things have passed away. So now it is the spirit now that is now in control of my life. So a, a, a man or a woman that has, that has not given her life to Christ will definitely be ruled by his flesh or by Satan. Thank you. Thank you so much. So if people um, behave, behave maybe with uh, some temperament, will you say that... Uh, they are not uh, behaving well, and can you work with any person, either sanguine or choleric or all of the people you talk Mommy, about? Like, can you work with any I of want, them now that you have I this want house. I want mm -hmm. house. Yes, ma. Mm -hmm. Now that I know that there are different temperaments, some people are calm, some people are talkative. I will always ask the Holy Spirit for help to be able to, 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 the best way to help me to communicate with whoever I meet. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please send your marks to Pastor Ju, send your grace to him and God bless you so much for your wonderful presentation.